Hi, this is A-Hole, and today I'm going to be talking about planting petunias from seed and exactly why I'd want a petunia in my garden. This video is starting seeds indoors. It is not a direct sow video. Let's take a look at what I used to start my seed indoors. I'm using a recycled muffin container that I put holes in the bottom of for drainage. The reason I am using this is because it has a lid and it will hold in humidity. Though you do not have to run out and buy muffins to do this project, you can simply use a container with drainage and some plastic wrap with some ventilation holes poked on the top. So right now I'm pre-moistening the soil. I do need to make sure the soil is pre-moistened before I start this evenly and throughout to the bottom. You definitely do not want your soil overly wet, nor do you want dry areas of soil inside your container. So as I moisten the soil with a spray bottle, I do take the chopstick and stir the soil to make sure it is not dry underneath. As you will see here, this soil is dry underneath. If I had planted the seed without fully saturating the soil, there's a chance, a pretty good chance, that seed would not even germinate. So when you plant your seed, give the soil a little stir to make sure there are no dry pockets. So now that the soil is evenly moist, we are gonna put some seeds on a white plate. These seeds are super small and you wanna be able to see them and you don't wanna lose any. As you're gonna see in the end of the video, I grow a large amount of petunias for a fraction of the cost of the seed package. And these seeds are really small and if you have the slightest amount of moisture on your fingertip, the seed will stick to your fingertip and you can just take it from there and place it directly on top of the soil. So actually there is no need to plant these seeds with a hole. So maybe you only want to plant vegetables and fruits in your garden and you ask yourself, how would planting a petunia benefit my garden? Well, I am growing these petunias because I do have a vegetable and fruit garden. I planted these petunias in the same bed with okra and peppers. They did get rather large, so I did have to prune them to keep them from shading out the okra and the peppers. Not only will these beautiful flowers attract pollinators, they're also going to repel bad insects, such as your tomato hornworms, your aphids, your leafhoppers, even your squash bugs. Petunias can also be grown in containers, and I absolutely love growing fruits, vegetables, and flowers in containers. Petunias are one of my favorite plants, a companion plant with. You can grow petunias in a 12 inch container and then pop some sweet peas in there too. Just be careful upon harvest because petunias are a member of the nightshade family and are not to be eaten. The reason I am planting these in the muffin container once again is for added humidity. And to be honest, I use the same exact method to grow celery. So I forgot to mention, I'm not planting the seeds with a hole, though I do lay the seeds on top of the soil and give them a nice little pat. It's almost safe to say the smaller the seed, the less deep it goes into the soil. Though, how deep you plant your seed and the variety could definitely play a big role on if your seeds are going to germinate. I'm not using any particular method for seed spacing, though I will separate the seedlings once they begin to grow. Though I didn't use all the seeds, so I'm gonna put them back in the package. It has been 10 days. It did take them a while to get to this point and sprout. Your petunias may take less time to sprout and they may take a little longer. And this is two weeks later. And I do not have any footage of how I transplanted these seedlings into the garden bed. Though I did pick the soil up, I did not pull the seedling out of the soil. You pick the soil up and then you separate it. And when I transplanted it, I buried it at the same soil line. The petunias covered an eight by four garden bed. I did space them about one foot apart. There's only approximately eight seedlings in this garden bed. I also planted a petunia plant with my tomatoes and my basil, though I did not see one hornworm in my garden all summer long. You're definitely going to need a lot of sunlight to get these petunias to grow without being leggy. Placing a container such as this directly in the sun can get overheated, so make sure you keep an eye on that. You may have to ventilate it as necessary. 
This is the same exact method I used to sprout celery seeds. Celery seeds can be planted indoors as soon as 14 weeks before your last frost date. Celery is a cold, hardy, cut and come again crop that will bolt in the heat. So if you're gonna be planting any of these, get the celery done.